Hey everybody, welcome back to Zeller Isle, welcome back to Animal Crossing, and welcome back to another villager hunt. Uh, this time we're going to be doing villager hunts a little bit different, and I've been noticing that you guys seem to like these, so I'm going to go ahead and try to upload more of them. Hopefully we'll eventually get stitches. That is our goal, uh, but of course we'll take a bunch of other people as well. We are going to do a villager hunt a little bit different with uh, time travel. So I get to destroy my island after I just fixed it up today. So I hope you guys appreciate what I'm going to be going through. <laughs> I just dug up all the access flowers that I had overgrowing my island. I dug up all the weeds. I I didn't dig up the fossils, but you know. Um, shouldn't actually spoil. Well, I think this video is coming out after the, the uh, forced perception build. So if it's not, spoiler alert, here it is. <laughs> but um, we are going to go ahead and discuss the rules on what's going on uh, and it's going to be different I told you it's going to be done through time travel it's not going to be done with nook tickets it's actually going to be done through the campsite the way that this is going to work is I'm going to be time traveling until we get a villager in our campsite uh, once we get one we'll see if we like them and then we'll travel back to today which is May 6th and we will continue traveling a week at a time, uh, a day at a time, until we get another villager, and we'll check to see if we like them, and if not, we'll continue the process. I am probably going to only do five villagers in this video, because this video is probably going to take me a couple days to make, uh, because this is a long process for me to do, uh, because I go and talk to the villagers so they don't get neglected. I try to pick up some weeds anytime I see them around as well. Um, because I don't want my village destroyed and any type of cleanup I can do during this process would be more advantageous for me so in that case this video will take me a longer bit of time so let's go ahead and go through the rules uh, first and foremost we are only getting rid of one of two villagers I tested this method already with Frank so I know that we can get rid of specific villagers I'll show you guys how to actually do that uh, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of either Bill, or we're going to, actually three villagers, we're going to get rid of Bill, Gruff, or Graham. Preferably Gruff at this point, because I'm not a big fan of Gruff, and I already have three cranky villagers in the town. Uh, so that's what's going to happen. Again, we have to like the villager. If we dislike the villager for any reason whatsoever, we cannot take them. Uh, so pretty much every single jock, arc, uh, every single jock archetype we are going to be refusing. However, there are some that we will take in. Uh, Sterling, I think, is pretty cool. So, people with really, really good designs will overrule their archetype, but it has to be a really good design. Um, most cranky villagers will turn away, but again, really cool design. Welcome aboard. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and find a camper, and we'll see who it is. See you soon. Hey everybody, just wanted to go ahead and pop in real quick and show you guys the worst part of these camper hunts. It is the rain. The rain is terrible in these camper hunts because they go ahead and water all the flowers and then the flowers get out of control really, really, really quick. And when they get out of control really quick like that, I have to clean them up and it takes me like an hour to clean up all the flowers. It's, it's annoying, but just wanted to go ahead and pop in, let you guys know that if you're considering doing a village hunt, like a uh, villager hunt like this as well, what to expect. I do recommend you talk to your villagers during the time skip, that way they don't feel neglected, and that way you don't have to earn friendships back. I don't know if you lose points during that, but definitely something I do. Makes it take a little longer. A lot of people don't do it. I know some people that do time skips don't even interact with their villagers at all. I'm going to. I'm going to go talk to my villagers and go out of my way just to make sure they don't feel neglected. I'm not going to talk to all of them, just a couple. But yeah, see you guys in a couple minutes when we get our first camper. Hey everybody, we finally got ourselves a camper. Uh, so it took me a while to get here. As you can see, it took me almost a week. So, I'm actually going to neglect my villagers, I think, and I'm going to try to go back to the 6th, and then straight to the 14th, and see if we actually have another camper, because that was the pattern that was working uh, during my test, and we will test that out. And if I can do that, I'll, I'll probably do a couple more campers uh, looking for a villager. So, I mean, unless Stitches is in here, then we're done right now, that'd be great. 
So let's go ahead and check. Before we do anything else, let's go check who we have here. Fingers crossed, guys. Come on, Stitches. Oh, that villager's so cool, too. I actually, this is one of my favorite squirrels. Oh, I might actually move out uh, Pecan for this one instead. This is Silvana. I don't know what her personality type is. Let's go ahead and look. Uh, Silvana. Animal Crossing Wiki Fandom. And sh her personality type is normal. Yes, I live here. Sir Sylvana, I'm very happy to see you. You are coming to Zeller Isle. We're going to do a couple more on the villager hunt, but we're definitely taking Sylvana here. And I'm actually going to move out Pecan for her. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually save and close out the game. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys the process on how to get rid of these villagers for the one that you guys want. So I'll be right back. And I will show you that momentarily. Everybody, so I finally beat the move-in game with Sylvana here. And what's going to happen now... Sorry about that, my phone just went off. What's going to happen now is we're going to talk to her. We won. She's going to go over to resident services. She's going to tell us that there's no space. And then she's going to go talk to a villager. And she's going to be like, hey, is this villager okay for me to kick out? Why is my phone going off? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so she went to talk with resident services. As you can see, she is picking. Maybe I should check around and see if there's anyone. Yes, it's worth a shot. I mean it. Holy cow. Phone is going off like crazy. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, and that she picked Gruff. We are okay with Gruff leaving. If I wasn't okay with Gruff leaving at this point, I would instantly close out the game and reload it and go through this whole process again, and she would pick somebody else. And that's how you would keep going until they pick an individual that you want to leave. Uh, I'm okay with Gruff, so I'm not going to do that because it's a lengthy process. Yeah, I do. Gruff can leave. And we are going to get Selvana to move in. Very excited about that. Um, yeah, she asked Gruff. He was planning to move anyway. And now Selvana is a new villager. Very happy. Got a great villager moving in. That was only number one. And I said I wanted to do like five more of these. So let's go ahead and dive in here and see who we can find next. See you guys soon. So can I just drop in to say real quick how cool Sylvana's house actually is. It's sitting here around decorated with all these cherry blossom stuff and it just, it really pops. I really, really like her house. I love her design. Really glad to have this villager. So even if we don't find anyone in the next couple guys, at least we got one good villager here. Oh, and just to say too, as you can see, it's May 9th. Jumping to the 14th did not work, so I jumped back to the 6th and I'm moving my way back up, making sure my villagers don't feel neglected. Anyway, see you guys in a couple seconds. Hey, everybody, so we got a villager at our campsite today. Uh, just to show you that it didn't work up the same. It is May 12th instead of May 14th. Let's go ahead and put that away and check what we have in the mailbox. Something from Rolf. Probably always, yeah, nah, I don't care. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go right to check on out who this villager is. Um, it is May 6th, as of me recording this video. Shep probably wants to move, not going to let him. Uh, May 6th, as of me recording this video, and I'm probably going to be done recording it for the day. Uh, so, not the end of the video, just the end of me recording for today. So let's go ahead and go check out Pecan. You need to leave, so hopefully whoever we have is relatively decent. Um, the reasoning Pecan needs to leave now, oops, the reason Pecan needs to leave now is because we got Sylvana in here, and Sylvana is just perfect for us as a squirrel. We no longer need, uh, Pecan here anymore. So... Stitches, maybe? We can hope. Let's go ahead and dive in and see who we have. Fingers crossed, guys. We have... Not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, no. Not gonna happen. Sorry, Hazel. She just said that we were super friendly, and I just walked in and was like, Unibro! <laughs> So yeah, no, we're not going to have Hazel. Uh, yeah, be back in a couple of minutes for you guys, tomorrow for me, and we will see who we get shortly. 
Alright, we got another villager in town at our campsite. Let's go ahead and take a look at who they are. Uh, if this isn't anybody we want, we're probably going to only do one more of this video. And then we'll probably do it again, just because I know we're running a little far on time. Let's go ahead and get that. I wouldn't be running as low on time if I didn't keep making mistakes like that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, yep, let's go ahead and go check. And hopefully we get a good villager out of it this time. Um, again, give me stitches. Who knows, though, we could have another unibrow squirrel. <laughs> and here we are. Let's go check him out. Fingers crossed. And we got a horse. Elmer. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Based off the glue. I, I like you, but not enough to bring you into the town, I don't think. Uh, looking at our residents, we want to get rid of Pecan, Graham, and Bill at this point. Maybe Shep at some point, but as of right now, we're going to go ahead and keep Shep. But yeah, that's what we're looking at. See you guys in a couple minutes when we find our next camper. Alright, let's go see who this is. Hopefully it'll be someone good and we can end on a high note. Um, yeah. Fingers crossed, let's see. Nope, nope. <laughs> no chickens for us. Um, so I'm going to keep going until I start getting tired of doing this. I'm okay right now, and I'm getting them done relatively quickly, honestly. Uh, so I'm going to continue to go on. It is currently 11.16 p.m. Uh, where I'm at. I'll probably be going for like another hour or so. So hopefully we can get another two, one or two villagers in here. Uh, but yeah, see you guys in a couple seconds. Next camper, please. Last one was that horrible chicken. What are we going to get this time? Comment down below. What do you guys think? Got a bear. He's actually pretty cool. It's like a big old papa bear. Um, do we want you though? Grizzly. He's a grizzly bear. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look. See, G R I Z Z. Oh, excuse me, guys. If you heard that, I apologize. Animal Crossing. Um, let's go ahead and see what your personality type is. You're another cranky villager. I got pl plenty of cranky villagers in this town. Um, tell you what, Mr. Grizzly, we'll we'll see what if we can beat you here. Oh, you said no. That's fine. Um, God, I'm, I'm I am debating because I do like him, but we have Frank. That's cranky. We have Rolf, that's cranky. Gruff left, so we don't have Gruff anymore. And we want to get rid of potentially Shep. We want to get rid of Pecan. We want to get rid of Graham. We want to get rid of Bill. Um, you know what? I might try to go ahead and get him. I'll be right back. I'll let you guys know if I decide to get him with if we're outside of another empty tent or not. Or a new tent or not. Be right back. Alright guys, next villager. Let's go ahead and see who we got here. Maybe we'll get somebody good, better than Grizzly was. Let's go ahead and see. <laughs> it's Grizzly again. Why would he come back? It's because he's moving here. I actually, I went ahead and brought him in. Um, we are going to be switching Grizzly out with Frank. I decided I didn't really like Frank's design too, too much, and I think Grizzly's going to be a better fit here. Uh, if I were to get another eagle, and if I do run into Frank again, I would replace Bill. I'm trying to keep my animal species a little bit diverse, which is why I'm thinking of getting rid of Shep if I run into another dog or something decent. We'll see. But as of right now, welcome Grizzly to Zeller Isle. Uh, let's do one or two more. See what we what else we can find. And I just want to point out before we go ahead and look for the next two, if I do happen to find Stitches, I'm not going to be kicking Grizzly out for Stitches. I do like Grizzly here. But I, I am trying to keep stay a little diverse. So, again, let's go look for our next two one or two villagers, and we'll see how this hunt ends. 
Already got two. Two villagers out of it. Let's get another one. Hey everybody, so, uh, we got another villager here at the island, and, uh, it's gonna be our last one for this video. The reason being is I'm getting tired of basically the jumping back and forth and doing it. I need a little break. I've been doing it for a while, and I still have to come in here and clean up all these mess of flowers that are kind of overtaking my town. As you can see, especially if I go over to resident services, it's just getting out of hand. I, I just I need to come in here with a shovel and just start taking all these out. Uh, that being the case, this is going to be the last villager for villager hunt number three, I think this is. No, four, I think this is. I don't know. Three or four. I need to actually start keeping track of what number I'm on. But here's a villager. Hopefully it's Stitches. Hopefully it's Goldie. Hopefully it's somebody that is decent. Cross your fingers. Last one. Let's see what happens here. Come on. And it's a rhino? What are you? Renee, thanks for stopping by. So is everyone here like super friendly? Kinda came out here on a lark, but this place seriously rocks. I'm in love, yo, yo, yo. Uh, no. No, sorry, not happening. That's going to be it today, guys. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like down below. If you want to see more like... <clears throat> excuse me, holy cow, sorry. Leave a like down below if you guys want to see more like this, of course. Um, thumbs down if you guys didn't like it at all. Let me know why, please, so I can go ahead and try to improve for the future. And uh, hit that subscribe button, ding the notification bell if you guys want to see more content like this. And if you don't, well... Thank you for at least making it this far with me. I appreciate it. So thank you all very much. And as always, until the next one, guys, take care.